Hey everyone, my name is Mark McKinnon. I am a technical support engineer here at Opticon USA, and today I'm going to show you how to update firmware on your scanner. So to do that, you're going to first navigate to our knowledge base page. So just go to your web browser, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer if you use that, and just go to OpticonUSA.com. I just have a little bookmark here because I work here. And uh, you are going to go to the Knowledge Base tab along, alongside these wonderful orange tabs. You're going to go to the Knowledge Base tab. Once you click on that, this is our wiki page. There is a video in the description for more information about the Knowledge Base page itself. And first, we are going to go to the scanner that you have. So I have a OPN 2001 right here, and so I'm just going to go to that page right there. So for the OPN 2001, the firmware, there is a firmware section on this page if you just want to read it for yourself. There are all the instructions you need to download and load firmware onto your scanner. But I'm just going to show it here for you because I am here. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom to the software portion, you are going to have the firmware itself. For this one, there's only a operating system firmware. Some of them have other firmware, like the OPN2006 has a couple different firmwares to download. But before you do that, you're going to download the all-in-one PC drivers. It's essentially something that runs in the background of your computer and allows your computer to communicate with the scanner once you plug it in. So you are just going to go over to the download section right here on the right side of the screen. And once that is done, you're going to open it up. Click on the exe, the executable file. You're going to allow it to make changes to your device. It will not do anything malicious to your device. And now it is going to have four different checkboxes. I would recommend just having all of them checked. And then click install. And that is one of the boxes installed. One, that's the second one installed, the third one, and the fourth one installed. So once that exits out of there, the drivers are installed, you should be ready to communicate with your scanner. So now to get the firmware itself. For this OPN 2001, you're just going to need this OS firmware. And you are also going to need AppLoad or the OPN PC companion application. There will be a link in the description for a video of how to use the PC companion application. So I will link that and if you want to use the companion application, for firmware, I would just recommend using AppLoad, but if you want to use the companion application, a video link will be in the description. So you are going to want to download AppLoad. AppLoad is just an application that enables you to communicate with the scanner and download firmware, set the time, do a whole bunch of different things. It's pretty simple and easy to use. So you're going to run the executable on that and just click next, I agree. Next, keep clicking through, install. Do you want to create a shortcut on the desktop? I'm not going to because I already have one on the desktop, so I'm just going to click no. And I'm not going to click this run straight off the bat because I'm going to show you actually what it looks like. So once you click finish and minimize everything. On my desktop, upload it's going to look like this, just like a little blue screen and then some yellow and some gray. You're just going to double click on that. And here is upload. So upload, it allows you to show the software versions, send the time to set the time of your scanner, and send a configuration file if you had that, download firmware, and also connect to different ports. So once I take my OPN 2001, connect it. OK, now I'm going to go to the settings tab, go to port, and this is every single port that your computer is currently using. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of Bluetooth ones. There's the, the Intel one of the computer itself. And the one I'm going to be looking for is the Opticon USB code reader which is using COM4. If you're ever curious about what port your scanner is using, you can just go to this, this little Windows icon on the bottom left hand corner, go to Device Manager, scroll all the way down, almost all the way down at least, to this ports portion. And once you click on that, it has that same, all of those same ports. And there is the Opticon USB code reader using COM4. 
And the only reason I'm showing you that is that just in case your scanner is not showing up in AppLoad, you can check in the ports portion to see if it is showing up on your computer. And if I connect it, you'll see it kind of refresh. And so when I, when I disconnect it, it refreshed like something changed. And then if you go down to ports, that port is not being used anymore because it's not connected. And then when I connect it again, it should refresh again. You go down to ports, and there it is. And that's just to, if you want to do some troubleshooting for yourself, if that is not showing up, you can check if it is there. It could be in a different mode or it could be a whole bunch of stuff. If you have any questions on and anything, any if you're having, having any problems with your scanners, we have links in the description to our support team that you can give us a call, send us an email, and we can help you out with all of your needs, or just put them in the comments if you want. So now that I'm back in AppLoad, I'm going to go connect to COM4, connect to that port, and now, now that that is ready, I'm going to actually go download the firmware file itself. So I go back to the knowledge base page, I'm going to download this OS firmware. This is the version number. If the version number on your scanner is uh, not this same one, that's when you're going to want to download. And to check the version, you're going to go to Utilities and Show Software Versions. And it's going to find the versions. And that is the version it's running, which you're going to mainly want to look at the last four digits, the 0214, for this OP in 2001. And so that 0214, and I go, OK, go back to the Knowledge Base page, go to the OS firmware, and it is 0214. So I have the updated firmware. I'm still going to show you how to do it, how to update it itself. But if the firmware on the scanner is different from this firmware, you might want to just download that, update it easy as you like. So you're going to click the download and it should show up in the bottom left hand corner. Click on that to open the zip file. And this is the firmware file, that 0214. Now I'm just going to put it on my desktop just so that it's easy to find for when I actually download it. And now once we go back to upload, you are going to go to file and then download. This is why I said put on the desktop because you're going to go to the desktop and find your firmware file. So it's sorted by date modified, which was today, just now. This is the 0214 firmware file. So double click on that. It is going to connect to the scanner. And then download the firmware file. In some cases, it may take longer than others if your scanner is really out of date and has to update to a, a, a lot newer firmware file. And so, download successfully completed, you now have the updated firmware. And that process is going to be the same for all of our different scanners. So if you have an OP2006, it's going to be the same thing if you have a handheld scanner, if you have a, uh, a mobile scanner. It's going to be the same process of downloading the firmware file from the knowledge base page, going to upload, connecting it via USB and then downloading it on upload itself. And I, that is just about everything you need to know how to download firmware and update your scanner. If you have any questions, again, we have support links in the description. Give us a call, send us an email, and we will help you with your problems. Thank you so much for watching.